First of all, place one of your 555 timer ICs into the breadboard as follows. This is the layout of the IC so you can refer back to it to make sure about the pins of the IC. Now connect pin 8 of the IC to the positive terminal of the breadboard. And connect pin 1 of the IC to the negative terminal of the breadboard. Take a connecting wire and connect pin 2 and 6 of the IC together. Take another connecting wire and connect pin 4 and 8 of the IC together. Connect pin 3 and 6 of the IC using one of your 1 mega ohm resistors. Take your 1 microfarad capacitor and connect the positive lead to pin 2 and the negative lead to the negative terminal of the breadboard. Now place your other 555 timer IC into the breadboard like this. Take a connecting wire and connect pin 8 of the second IC to the positive terminal of the breadboard. Now take another connecting wire and connect pin 1 of the second IC to the negative terminal of the breadboard. Connect pin 2 and 6 of the second IC using connecting wire. Connect pin 4 and 8 of the second IC using connecting wire. Take your other 1 mega ohm resistor and connect pin 3 and 6 of the second IC.
Now get your 100 nano farad ceramic capacitor and place it into the breadboard with the printed side facing away from the 1 microfarad capacitor. Place one red LED into your breadboard like this. And remember that the positive lead is longer than the negative lead of the LED. Take a connecting wire, connect pin three of the second IC to the positive lead of the LED. Place one blue LED into the breadboard like this. Remember that the positive lead is longer than the negative lead of the LED. Take another connecting wire, connect pin 3 of the first IC to the positive lead of the blue LED. Place the other red LED in parallel with the first red LED. Take your 150 ohm resistor and connect pin 3 of the first IC to the negative lead of red LED. Place another blue LED in parallel with the first blue LED.
Take your other 150 ohm resistor and connect pin 3 of the second IC to the negative lead of the blue LED. Now just place the third red LED in parallel with the other red LEDs. Now just place the third blue LED in parallel with the other blue LEDs. Connect the 9 volt battery or power supply. The red wire is positive, so connect it to the positive terminal of the breadboard. The black wire is the negative, so connect it to the negative terminal of the breadboard. If you remove the one microfarad capacitor, this is what will happen. If you remove the 100 nanofarad ceramic capacitor, this is what will happen.